Mr. Lee joined the police force in the 70s. His only experience was in policing and security areas. You just now cited an example of Henry Tang, but most of the CES since the handover had experience in different, uh, leading different policy bureaus. So how can you uh, convince the public and the civil service that he was capable? Uh, the second question, um, is the reshuffle related to the Article 23 legislation? Uh, why the government think that the NSL is still not sufficient in safeguarding national security. Could you please uh, explain to us? Thanks. Well, um, at the politically appointed official level, uh, one is looking for uh, leadership, vision, uh, diligence, and also a commitment to serve the community of Hong Kong. Of course, uh, for people who have extensive experience in a diversity of areas, that may be helpful, uh, but I don't think that is a prerequisite. So uh, the mere fact that a particular candidate um, does not have that full range of experience uh, is not one of the uh, most important factors. But to be fair to uh, John Lee, he has been in the government for almost four decades. And Security Bureau is perhaps uh, one of the biggest in terms of uh, significance, in terms of the number of uh, civil servants under its uh, uh, supervision. So uh, one could not say that um, as a Secretary for Security for many years, his experience is limited uh, to the police background or limited to the law enforcement. As you have heard the new Secretary for Security um, just mentioned, uh, his future work will include a range of uh, areas, including facilitating the flow of people, the flow of goods, uh, and uh, other areas. So I have every confidence that with John's uh, rich experience and the leadership and capability he has demonstrated in various positions in the government, he will be able to uh, perform very well in this new appointment as the Chief Secretary for Administration. Now, uh, the reshuffle has nothing to do with uh, what we are planning or preparing for the enactment of local legislation as required under Basic Law Article 23. Uh, I have already answered that in public, that uh, it is a requirement uh, both under the Basic Law and also under the National Security Law uh, that the Hong Kong ASEAN government has to continue to do two things. One is to uh, put in place local legislation as required under the basic law, that is Article 23. The other is to enhance and improve existing legislation that will help us to uh, prohibit activities and acts that will endanger uh, national security. So what we are doing is exactly what we are required to do. Uh, you mentioned that uh, national security law is already in place. Why do we need basic law Article 23 local legislation? Because the coverage of the national security law is not uh, entirely uh, the same as BL 23. There are clearly areas uh, that we are required to enact local legislation under basic law Article 23, uh, which are not in the national security law. So in order to have a comprehensive uh, legislative regime in place, we need to continue to work uh, on the two areas that I have just mentioned.